Hi, I'm uh, Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today we're speaking with uh, Justin Reed, the CEO and President of Trellis Gold, uh, ticker symbol, symbol TLG on the Toronto Stock Exchange. How are you doing today? I'm great, Chris. Thanks very much. How are you? Great. So for those who might not be familiar with your company, can you give us like just a quick overview? Sure. Troilus is a developing gold producer in Quebec. Uh, the past producing Troilus mine produced 2 million ounces of gold, about 70,000 tons of copper before it was shut down. We, uh, we bought the mine privately. We've added about 200,000 meters of drilling over the last three years. And we now have a resource of about 8.1 million ounces equivalent as of last August. Well, we've drilled another 100,000 meters since then. Uh, PEA is out showing a 22 year mine life. Uh, we are actively adva um, advancing that asset. Pre-feasibility will be out uh, early next year. New resource shortly, which shows continued growth. Um, and it's going to be one of the, uh, it'll be the top three producing gold assets in Quebec and probably top five in Canada. Well, it's interesting. You, you uh, raised uh, uh, over $50 million earlier this year. Uh, how did you deploy it this summer? Yeah, we, we raised about $58 million. Um, the balance sheet is sitting around that right now. Uh, we've deployed it. We're drilling 12,000 meters a month but with between four and five rigs, depending on the day. And that drilling has added to the value of the company. We've extended what we call our hanging wall or our hanging wall of the J zone, which has extended 850 meters. It's a parallel zone to the main deposit, which previously was waste. Yesterday, we put out a re, uh, some intersections, 12 meters of 4.4 grams, 31 meters of two. Um, and that's been a big focus for us. The other focus has been at the Southwest deposit about three and a half kilometers away. Um, and we put out 15 meters of three and a half grams. These are all, grades are all well higher than the resource grade and show that the resource keeps going. And, and like we've shown over the last two and a half years, the more we drill, the more we find. So these ounces are adding to the resource. We're aggressively continuing to drill. And right now we don't see stopping uh, anytime soon. And when do you think you'll have an updated resource? Targeting the end of the year. Um, which is a little bit later than we wanted. However, you know, like I said, we're still drilling. And <laughs> the, the more we find, um, and, and there, it's not the same. These are higher, thicker intervals than we had previously expected. As such, the success is, continue, is, is driving us to drill a little bit more, which is a great reason to uh, keep drilling. Now, now, this deposit is an open pit uh, deposit uh, and mine. And so the recent drill results, are they from surface or where are they located? Uh, the majority of them are from surface uh, or very close to surface. Uh, our PA envisioned a 22 year mine life, 14 years open pit and then eight years underground. Uh, our pre-feasibility is going to decouple the underground and we're going to be able to show the market a substantially uh, longer open pit life. And so it's going to be a very simplistic, low strip, open pit mine in Quebec. And do you see any other areas uh, in the same uh, location that you could have uh, other pits to help out with the mine life? Yeah, the southwest is still wide open. So um, in both directions, we have, it was a new discovery uh, about a year and a half ago. We, in one month of drilling, we defined 600,000 ounces. We've tripled the size of it. You'll see that in the new resource. And um, it remains wide open. Uh, we acquired Urban Gold about six months ago. And, and so a further eight kilometers on trend, we have the Cressidia, call it discovery, if you will, though it's from the 1980s, 30 holes, uh, 46 meters of a gram, 32 meters of 1.7 grams gold, all at surface, hasn't been followed up since the early 80s. So we believe that Troilus is a belt, just not a deposit that has had no exploration in 50 years. So there's, there's a lot more to come. We're spending $5 million on the regional exploration this year. So, so with all this success in your drilling uh, and uh, updated resource in Q4, when do you think you'll have your updated pre or your pre-feasibility -feas report? 
Uh, everything's going well. We have, uh, we have 5,000 kilos of samples for met work. Again, we also have a 14 year mine life. So that gives us some pretty good data. Um, uh, the pre-feasibility will be more like Q1 of next year. Uh, we're kind of, we have to finish the drilling that we're doing now and we're still getting success. So that's getting pushed out a bit. So yeah, it'll be Q1 of next year. And um, I think it's gonna be ple a pleasant surprise to the market. Great. And then the updated feasa or sort of the feasibility report, when do you anticipate that being in the market? The feasibility will still be at the middle of next year. Our pre-feasibility is being done to a very high level. So there, there's not going to be a big jump to our feasibility. And what is your goal to actually start mining the project? Uh, it, all, it all obviously all depends on permits. And we have the ability or, or I, I guess the benefit of being a brownfield deposit. And we have an active mining lease. We have a fully permitted tailings facility. Uh, they're going to need to be amended, but they're not being permitted from scratch. So uh, pre-feasibility out a year of permitting, we hope to be in a position to be breaking ground at the end of 2023, which isn't very far from now. Well, uh, Justin, uh, thanks for your time. Uh, I'm, I was speaking with Justin Reed, the CEO and president of Troilus Gold. Uh, ticker symbol is TLG on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Thanks, Chris.